to do it right. Not you. Not you. But just because I'm getting frustrated and he's feeding off me energy at the same time and fucking us all. There's nothing there. So I gotta do it right. It's not you. It's okay because this is what you'll tell me. You're in your own head. And it's not you. I didn't have this yesterday, so it's not you. I'm embarrassing myself in front of everyone like that. You're not. being a fucking fan. You're not embarrassing yourself at all. Yeah, do that. Tell us what was going through your head. How did you feel? <laughs> Frustrated, angry, pissed off. But I didn't want to get off. I didn't want to give up on him. But then I just want to leave him in the arena and just leave it, like, go away from the arena. I don't know. I just didn't want anything to do with him. I just didn't know how to get over it. I, just, I didn't know how to just sit there and... No, I don't know. Like, every time he does it, I just feel like I can't do it. And so after everything, like, I feel like I'm going really well for like time and time again. And then all of a sudden, something crops up and it knocks us back again. And it's really <laughs> frustrating. Like, I know he's not nasty. I know he's not horrible. But when he does stuff like that, it just, it knocks us back again. And then people say, oh, well... You need to do this and you need to do more. It's no stir at work and what's wrong with them? There's nothing wrong with your horses. Like, I know that, but you don't see the side that I see. You don't ride them all the time like I do. And yes, I know because I ride them all the time. You should be foot perfect. You should be fine. But that's not reality. The horse does piss you off. A horse does take off whether you do fall off. Just by doing either no stirrup work or whatever, like pushing them through it, keep pushing and pushing them through it, they'll get over it. It's like it doesn't always work. You've got to have the mentality to do it, and you've just got to get on with it. It's like, yeah, if I fall off, I don't care if I fall off. I think you've seen us, I laugh about it because I think it's funny. Mm -hmm. Because I know he doesn't mean to hurt us. I know he doesn't want to hurt us. Falling off isn't the hard part. Working through the naughty stages mm -hmm. is the hard part. And when you've got people watching you and you've got people who will judge you for doing it, it makes you feel worse because you think, I'm, I'm embarrassing myself, I'm embarrassing him because I don't know how to handle a naughty pony. But I'm glad I've got a naughty pony because he tests us. It makes us work for it, and that's what I like to do. I like to work. I like to feel like I've worked for everything I've done, and feel good about it. At the end of the day, but because I've had so many people tell us that I'm not good enough, or I can't ride, or I'm a bad rider, or I should sell them because I'm too big for them, it just makes us want to work harder. Because I've had so many. And people tell us that I just stop myself and I get my own head and I just don't know how to get out of it. But at least you're aware that you get in your own head. Mm -hmm. I think that's the worst part, it, though. It's like worse when you know you're in your own head but you don't know how to get out of it. And you know, people, oh, it's all right, you'll get there one day. Oh, it's fine. It just takes time. I say, yeah, you can see all that, but you don't go through it. Mm. People don't go through the motions like you do. Like, you know yourself personally. You know how you, how you cope with stuff. You, you know how your pony works or your horse works. And just because people think they can comment on it and think they're better than you, it doesn't help anybody. I think people only realise the struggles of those higher up in the equestrian mm -hmm. riding world. Those that are going to Olympia and Grand Prix and God knows whatever else, when they 
don't get the results they want, people go, yeah, yeah, you're right, you know, it shouldn't mm-hmm. have happened, your horse should know better. But they don't realise the struggles that everyday Joe blogs like us go through. Mm-hmm. Us who aren't good riders. No. Nope. Half the time we're struggling just to get our own balance, never mind teaching a pony what they need to do. We're lucky if we stay on, we just want to have a laugh and enjoy it. We mm-hmm. might be on the wrong diagonal, we're on the wrong rail. I don't know, you keep telling me off for <laughs> being on the wrong diagonal. But it's, you know, it's just basic people like us who are nobody in the equestrian world. And we struggle and mm-hmm. we cry and we throw tantrums and horses throw tantrums. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what annoys us because yeah. they don't talk about the nitty gritty stuff. They talk about, oh, look how well my horse has been yeah. winning this competition. Look how well they jumped all these jumps. Complaining when they didn't get the fly and uh-huh. change right. We can't get a transition from walk to trot right. <laughs> Never mind freaking going for Grand Prix or freaking whatever it is in show jump. I don't know, show jump. And... No idea. And it's like they don't talk about how like they got there, the, all the nitty gritty stuff, all like what the struggles were, trying to get a horse to do, like what they want. And it just makes you feel like, well, why can't I be like that? Why can't I be like? Why can't I have a Grand Prix horse? Why can't my pony just do what everybody else's horse does? Why are we fighting and struggling just to get a horse on the bit when they fighting and struggling to get a PF correct? Mm-hmm. And it. It doesn't always come down to time. It's not a case of how much effort you put in, how hard you work, yeah. how many days a week you ride, how long you ride. Some riders aren't capable. Some horses aren't capable. And I'll probably get a load of backlash for saying that. Because there will be people out there who go, every horse is capable, every pony's capable. But they're not because Bentley doesn't like jumping. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't push him to do it if he doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. So he can't do it. But it doesn't mean I wouldn't try him with it. I wouldn't let him have a go at it first. But we're not aiming for... I'm not. Time. Time. I'm not. No, we're not aiming for all the way up there. We're just aiming to enjoy riding, not have to shout at ourselves and shout at our ponies. He's a bitch. <laughs> Isn't it so with Bentley? <laughs> That's the thing, I'm not bothered about falling off. I don't care if I fall off at a show. I don't care if I fall off in front of people. It's when your horse acts up and I don't know how to correct it and I don't know why it's doing it for. That's where it frustrates us because I feel like I can't do it and I feel it because everybody's told us that I can't do it. I believe them. Depends what you're aiming for. If you're aiming for... A nice little pony who does a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of hacking and a bit of dressage, you can do it. Mm-hmm. If you're aiming for the best of the best cross country pony, yeah, they're right. You can't do it because that's not what you're aiming for. That's not your no. goal. It's not what you're working towards. So, of course, you can't do it if you're not practicing for that. And that's, I think, one of the biggest things where people criticize so much because they assume. You're aiming for the same goals as them. Mm-hmm. That's the thing everybody wants. Like most people I've spoken to, they aim for the top of the top. Or they aim to be perfect. And I'm not perfect. I know I'm not perfect. And I know Bentley's not perfect. My aims are to stay on. Mm-hmm. To get over my own anxiety. And to have some level of control over La Porle. That is my aims. What's yours? To, to not doubt myself, mm-hmm. to not doubt him, because I know I can do it, it's just I need to do it, I know it, I can, I can ride, I know I can do my diagonals, I just want to be able to prove to everyone that I don't have to listen to what they say, that I can do it. Mm-hmm. At the minute, I just want to be able to do a dressage test without him being a dick with us. And I know I'll get there. I know I can do it. Might not be this week. No. Or next. But I, I do want to get there, and that's what my goal is. I think it's more realistic to set an expectation of I want to get there rather than I want to get there at a certain time. 
as in saying by this time next year I want to be there. That might not be realistic for everyone. No. For us it could be I want to get there in five years' time. Yeah. I'm not in any rush. I know what I have to do. So I'm taking my time with it. I'm not rushing myself into doing stuff. It's like, yeah, I can take my new arena, but I want to take the shows to prove that I can do a dressage test without at home, that I can stay on, that I can control them, that I don't have to get in my own head. Mm-hmm. I don't need to worry about people standing at the sidelines watching us. Because that's my biggest gripe is that I always think, well, what are they thinking? Do, they, do I look like an idiot? Do I look like a tit on a horse? Is, is my pony riding, like, without us? And that's what I can't stand is when I'm, I'm getting in my own head, mm. watching people watching me, and I'm second-guessing everything I do. Yet you don't do that when I watch you. Because I know you don't judge us. <laughs> Maybe I do. Just don't tell you. <laughs> You're <sick of> magician <laughs> is. No, but you know that you can feel comfortable around someone, even if for now it is just me. Yeah. You can feel comfortable, and that's you've got to hold on to that feeling and aim for it with others. It's horrible because I've had like God knows how many instructors. So I think I've had like three, and then I've had people who claim they're instructors try and teach us. Like, this is in the past. Um, and But these people who claim their instructors were younger than us. And they were like, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to keep them tight, you need to pull them on the reins. And it's like, I don't want a heavy hand at all. You need to keep whipping them to keep them going. So like, I shouldn't have to constantly carry a whip. I don't want to constantly carry a whip with them. I want to be able to ride without having a whip. And it's like... I'm sick of having people telling us what I should be doing. And then I go to somebody else and I'm like, well, why are you doing this for? Why are you doing that for? It's like the contradictors. And that's just sit there and think, well, what am I doing? They contradict themselves half mm-hmm. the time, not just you. So I go to one instructor that tells me I need to keep whipping them, I need to keep on them, I need to keep them going. And then I go to somebody else and I'm like, well, why are you doing this for? Why are you doing that for? Why don't you just use your leg aids? Why can't you just, like, let them have a longer reign? I say, but I've been told differently. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I do look like an idiot on a horse. I feel like I do look like a sack of tatties on a horse that just sits up there and... But then you watch yourself back on a video and you're not that. Mm-hmm. Stisha got in her head a lot there. She couldn't get out of her own head. Him, she lost Bentley, she lost herself, she stayed on. She should have gotten off because all he was doing was feeding off of her. Because he was feeding off of her, she was feeding off of him. And it was a bad little combo at the time. He was being a twat, a right naughty, naughty pony. And I was fighting with him, fighting. He wouldn't back down. I won. But he wasn't happy about it. She's a good rider. She is a good rider. And hopefully if she'll look back on this video, she'll see that. Naughty pony. Here he comes. I love you too. No, not that much. <laughs> not today. Till you've got your own. Hmm? Shit. Why? This is fucking dickhead. I feel better after doing the circles. I'm still pissed off at him because there is no way you should be acting like that. No. After you'd done the circles and you had control of them, how did you feel? Better because I knew what I was doing. Did you feel like it was your fault still? No. Good. It wasn't my fault. No, it wasn't. I know it, was it wasn't him. my fault. It's him pushing us and I just didn't. Did not want to listen to either of them. Yeah. It's nice that somebody else sees what the problem is. Because mm-hmm. when Alan rode me, he's like, well, what's wrong with him? It's like, he just, he's not acting up for you, that's why. Yeah. There, he was pushing every single button you had, and he was winning. Mm-hmm. But once you got off, and you got a bollock enough Auntie Emma, <laughs> he was like, oh no. 
because we're both just feeding off each other. He definitely had his tongue over the bit at one point. He hasn't anymore. I think we've all got faults. No matter who you are, you've yeah. got a fault of some kind. Whether and it's keeping your heels down, having messy hands, mm -hmm. not using your abs to lift yourself up. That's me. I rise with my legs and I shouldn't rise mm -hmm. with my legs. And But people don't admit they've got faults. No. And that's what frustrates us. Like, every professional has a fault. Oh, of course. But they don't admit it. Or your best friend who you think's an amazing rider has a fault, mm -hmm. but they don't admit it. I think if you can find out what your own flaw is, mm -hmm. that's what you should be aiming towards every time you ride. Right, this lesson, I'm going to aim towards fixing yeah. that fault. That little flaw... That little niggle that I do that I don't like or somebody else has pointed out <clears throat> and work on the little things. You can't work on the, the whole horse and your whole of yourself straight away. No. You've got to break it down into little bits. So like said me, I rise with my legs and I need to stop rising with my legs. So next time I ride, I'll probably forget and you can remind us on and see if I <laughs> Use your core. And the same with you. And this lesson I was... In the middle now, I'm telling you, heels down, heels down. And that's your little thing that you need to work on. If you focus on your heels, mm -hmm. it gets you out your head for everything else. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, like, nobody, like, I know of admits what the, they're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's the frustrating part. Nobody's perfect. I need to remind myself of that. Nobody's perfect.